quack quack and we're back today is going to be about programming i have a 2018 gm truck that had a new transmission put into it i don't know why it was put into it but i was asked to come program the tcm to it and that's what we're going to do and i'm going to do this with the r-link j2534 box now whenever you're programming you still have to have the manufacturer software access to do the programming. Also, if you hear the whining in the back, that's a battery charger. So I'm gonna get this stuff set up and we're gonna go from there. Now, a rule of thumb, whenever I do anything, I'm first gonna run a help scan. It's quicker to do it with the Phoenix Plus than it is to load up the GDS side. Um, now, we will be using Tech Line Connect. Um, I already have it loaded up, so Today is working just fine and we shouldn't have any issues. I do have to install the GM software uh, for the R box, uh, but that shouldn't take too long and I will probably do a recording of uh, that being done. All right, so real time, we'll open up the R Link platform uh, application. We're going to download the software for GM. Uh, side note, if you have the MDI GM tool, you cannot have both of the softwares downloaded at the same time. If you want to use both tools, you have to pick either or. Um, signing in is really easy. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to do this software update uh, to the R-Box. I mean, look at that. All of the options. The uh, the R box is way cheaper than the MDI, and you also have access to Ford and everybody else. And the software update is so quick; it's it's just it's a no brainer, guys. Um, it does all the same stuff as the 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 GM scan tool, MDI toolbox. Uh, no issues here. Uh, we'll go through the update. And we will wait. Double check that we have the right download. Good to go. All right, so the health scan is done. Um, I've already saved the report. That way I can go back and verify that anything that was there before will not be there after the programming event. And if it is, that it means that it was there before. And that's not the, something that I did. This is for to cover myself and just to also have an idea of what's going on also if you hear the sirens going off sorry in the diagnostics plan we have the uh lost communication with the tcm and that's something that i would expect since that we've uh, they replaced the transmission and it has not been programmed there's also a bunch of stuff for voltage codes and whatnot but the battery was already replaced and we do have it on our charger right now so we should be good to go i'm going to go ahead and work on getting her set up Alright, so you're going to see me fumble with this a little bit. So I'm going to change my settings over to the R-Link box. And here's the issue. It's going to pull it up. It's going to show me that I am reading the actual vehicle with the R-Link box. But we will crash. Um, now when it comes down to programming, one of the best things about the actual TLC tool uh, is that GM requires you to know the RPO codes. RP co uh, RPO codes refer to the actual build of the vehicle. And when it comes down to programming, the RPO codes are essential to find out. And there's many ways to figure out which RPO codes that vehicle that you're working on um, actually has. But TLC uh, gives you the option to actually look them up uh, while still using the tool. So we're going to open up SPS. We're going to use our job card, your RO number. Um, and we are going to attempt to program the, T, uh, the train machine control module. Uh, we'll scroll through it. We'll see that we have all the modules that we have. Uh, we'll find that right one. And it gives us the option, so, so uh, programming and then set up only with RPO MF, M5U. 
uh, programming is very specific, uh, we have to figure out which RPO, uh, RPO code that we actually have. So you're going to see me go through here, double, triple check, make sure. Um, if you can, with GM software, program a module with the incorrect software based off of incorrect RPO codes. So please take your time and figure out which ones you actually have. So while this is doing this thing, I'm pretty sure we're gonna come to a failure screen. Now I'm not sure if this is because I still had the R-Link app open. There we go. Um, at this point in time, I actually disconnected the the uh, the actual R box from the vehicle and closed down the uh, R-Link app itself. It, it's going to fail. Yeah, so it's asking me to switch over. Um, I do have an MDI too. I use it, but this is more capable. It's going to fail again. Um, it, I'm pretty sure it's because I had both apps open at the same time. You can't have the MDI manager open and connect to a vehicle, and you can't have the uh, Top Dawn app open at the same time hook to the vehicle. You had to pick one or the other. All right, so TLC has come a long way. Um, it gives us so many options now, and, and it's all in one place. So SBS2 is going to be the GM programming software side of their diagnostic tools. Um, they are the only ones that has three different options for their tools. So now we're doing extra programming. It's doing its thing. We're using the top on J box. Um, we got the charger maintainer on her. One of the biggest things about programming is maintaining a good source of battery voltage. The, uh, the running joke is that programming is very easy until it's not. And hopefully, usually, GMs are pretty forgiving. As long as you have the correct RPO codes and you make sure, double, triple check, make sure you're using the correct RPO codes, programming is usually pretty straightforward. Also, TLC has to have be having a good day for it to actually work when you want it to work. So program is all done now. Uh, we cleared the DTCs using SPS2. Um, I'm going to disconnect the tool from the vehicle. Um, I'm going to reconnect the uh, Phoenix Plus dongle and hook back up to the truck. And I'm going to check for the DTCs that are present, stored, and just verify that everything's good to go. Okay, we'll hook back up to the vehicle. We're going to go ahead and clear our the DTCs from this side. That way we can start off fresh and see what's going on. Okay, the full health report has uh, finished up and the only thing shown right this second is in the BCM. Uh, it's just a, a tire sensor. I'm actually going to hop in the truck and do a few uh, checks inside. Make sure the transmission engages and all that kind of stuff. Now they still will have to do the actual driving procedure to learn the adaptations and whatnot. But as far as programming, we should be good to go. Okay, so I've already hopped in the truck, verified that the uh, truck goes in the gear and everything. It goes back and forth. Um, I don't have any warning lights. Did it twice to make sure. Uh, we'll do the smart scan again, and we'll see what we have. And there we have it, guys. Uh, TCM is back in line, reading green. Uh, still have the tire sensor code in the BCM, but that's not what we're here for. Um, programming took, the lost communications with the TCM is no longer there, uh, job is complete.